those two little lines of the track and we're not even a quarter of a way. It's gonna be worth it, trust me. I say it all the time, but you take 10 turns, nine of them are duds, and then every now and again you snag one. And I'm telling you now, this is one of them. You bloody beauty! Somewhere now, but send me. <laughs> Welcome back, another episode, guys. We are at Mike's Custom Toys in Grants Pass because we're getting some new shoes, baby. Hoot scooting day. We got some 37s going on the ram. I'm super excited. Let's go in, say good day to Mike, and uh, check out our new shoes. Woo! Here we go. As per usual, guys. Beef Goodrich, you got the uh, KM3s. These are a 37, 13.5 on the 18. So 37s are going on before the next Overland Expo. And then we also may change the gearing to suit the 37. I'm excited. Need some leg workout. So let's get them on. All right, here he is, Mike. Morning, mate. Hey, good. How are you doing? Good, we're a little bit late this morning. We may have also gone out for beers with Mike last night. Mike is one of the Bush Company distributors. That's how we... <clears throat> we didn't have that many beers. That's how we uh, met and got in touch. You guys do everything here, so... Full vehicle builds, full overland builds. If we're talking gears, uh, lift kits, wheels, tires, rooftop tents, of course, a bunch of Bush Company gear. So if you're anywhere in or around Oregon and you're chasing any of the Bush Company gear, guys, you can come get it fitted down here or you can ship it out to you. Finally getting some 37s. Thanks. I've been getting picked on hard over here for 35s. Everyone's like, nice truck, pity about the wheels. <laughs> so bigger tires are going on and then we might chuck some gears in. Yeah, we may do some gears, maybe a locker if you're up to it. And yeah. uh, certainly uh, we're gonna give you a little bit more power with that edge system too. That's actually exciting. So that's a plug and play. Plug and play, yeah. So obviously going to the bigger tires, we're gonna lose a little bit of power. So a plug and play system that uh, will give us just that little bit extra. It's nothing too crazy. We're gonna leave it in your hands. We'll come back and check it out. Yeah. See ya, mate. Have a go at this place. I know what you're thinking. What the bloody hell happened? You're getting tires fitted up, and next minute, you're on the creek. We've just woken up at this beautiful little spot. We went in last night, picked the car up from Mike. He was running late, so we didn't actually get to do any filming or reveal the tires. Uh, we ended up getting in the car and punching up to our next little campsite. And I tell you what, it is glorious. We pulled in, didn't actually realize just how beautiful this place was until this morning. Got a little morning coffee. It's a little bit fresh. I got the big jumpy on, but have a look at this. Gorgeous Creek, got the little stream running down here straight down into the river it is spectacular after chatting to a local fellow this morning there's a lake not far just back up from here and they reckon it's good catching trout so i might go stir erin up and see if she's up for a little trout competition i want to show you these 37s because i'm frothing but the car's all bagged down at the moment because we got the kitchen out so you might have to wait to get a proper reveal but Here's a little sneak peek. How's this for a campsite? We cooked a little steak up on the fire there last night. Camped under these beautiful big pine trees. Cozy little night in the Patriot. Morning, Erin. Morning. There's uh, rainbow trout in the lake up the top. So a little whisper is that uh, you should be a bit of a pro at rainbow trout. Yeah, well, I did come up on a rainbow trout farm, so, so there you know go. a thing or two about catching them. I know nothing about catching them. <laughs> Competition's on. Boys vs girls rainbow trout fishing competition. Shotgun the good rod. No. Yeah, I'm not using that. She hasn't bought any fishing gear, so she has to use what she's given and she's a pro. You should be able to use just a fishing line. I'm taking the spear gun. <laughs> Maybe we should have a spear. Just rigged up the new Shimano Spin 7,500. Put a bit of line on it, you know, some good quality general store eight pound fishing line. Now we're gonna watch Erin try and tie a knot because she's a professional. What happened? What knot would you like? I'm just waiting for you to tell me. <laughs> uh, just a standard basic fishing knot will do. Oh, lovely knot. Oh, magic. Prime, look at that. Oh yeah. 
Not sure what's going on, but uh, Rambo's flat. The park rangers were here, so we're like, oh, can you give us a jump? They're like, don't think we're supposed to. We don't want to accept liability. So big shout out to the National Park Ranger. You're a <laughs> Appreciate your help. What a dickhead. <laughs> and he just drove off. So yeah, thanks. Thanks to that bloke. Yeah, so now we're just chilling. I told you not to plug your hair straightener into the car. I know, but I look beautiful. We're gonna have some brekkie while we wait because the canopy is a fully different system to the car. So you can never go flat. Anyway, bacon and eggs, worst places to be actually. Old mate across the way just got his car started because his battery's flat. <laughs> he just gave me the thumbs up that his started. He's gonna give us a jump because he's not a Rambo is alive. Breakfast is almost ready. So I almost forgot to show you guys the new 37 inch Beef Goodrich. Mud train came threes because it makes this car look so much better. Let me know, should I have gone 40s? You're gonna, you're gonna give it to me in the comments, but check it out. As you can see, 37's just, just had to let the air out so they'd fit tucked in under that GCI perfectly on the back end. Looks super tidy. Shout out to Mike, legend mate. Done a great job getting them sorted in such a short time frame for me. Guys, BFGs are the best on the market. I've been running them for, what have we got now? Probably going on 10 years and I have never had a puncture, which is massive. Touch wood, I'm gonna have to find some wood just to uh, keep that going because I don't ever want to jinx this, but I've said it a few times now. So much so that on the next truck, we're actually gonna run one spare. I'm not even gonna tell you what the next truck is, but we have come up with a plan. That's been killing me is we don't have our little Explore Life proper coffee mugs. They should be coming over shortly. I got a nice little lid. So you can use it as a sippy cup, which um, is what Aaron needs. <laughs> Maybe I should bring one out with, you know, the two handles either side. Let us know in the comments if we need some explore sippy cup. And more importantly, who's going to win this fishing comp? Me or Aaron? Let us know in the comments now, before we get up there, before you cheat, before you see how many fish we catch, who's going to catch more fish? Me. Jeez, you've made a bloody jolly wally. What a mess. Oh God. Poor Rambo. All right, we've just pulled up. It actually looks like a beautiful little dam. So we'll go check out the lake. She doesn't know about my secret cookie stash. I've got to be quick. She's on to me with fat camp, but this looks beautiful. This is cool. Oh God, I nearly died. I reckon we get the canoes in here. Yeah, let's do it. Time to pump some canoes up and catch some rainbow trout. And are you eating a cookie? No, I'm not eating a cookie. There was a brown bear come past. He gave me a cookie. I didn't want it. On the back of your shirt, it says fish count zero, zero, which is going to be the end score for you today. Okay. If I can get out of this bush. Ready? Ready. Oh, not your hat, mate. Oh, no, you've spilled all the eggs out of your basket. Oh, you're making it look easy. Huh? No, it's a log twist. This is all bad. What's with the rolling logs? Well, we're on water. Oh. oh, we're making this look so difficult. All right, you're on. Here's your hat. You're going to need that. Trout bait. See how that goes. So I think it's supposed to float and mine sunk. <laughs> what a shit show. Oh, I'm on. Oh. oh, it's a good size trout. Aaron, I'm on. Oh, first one. Can we get him? Oh. Yeah, next time that'll be great. We're on. It's a little baby let's see if we can get this one in the boat oh i've dropped him again <laughs> you're kidding aren't you i'm watching on instagram at the moment lofty catching horse reds massive trout and i'm trying to catch 25 centimeter trout <laughs> i'm still doing 360s in this canoe but i'm determined to try and get one while floating around. This wind's dropped off a little bit, which means I'm not drifting everywhere, so. 
Gotta love fishing. Well, we're getting this one in the boat. Ah! Yes! <laughs> Finally. But we did it. We caught some rainbow trout out of the Cocopelli little one and a half meter canoe. Absolutely frothing. Fun little afternoon, cruising around the beautiful lake. Caught my first rainbow trout. Bloody good fun. Trout for dinner, baby. That was beautiful, eh? Magic. Epic little spot. We're up extremely high right now, so that's cool. You should see on the drone as we pull away. It's just a big view, so. Epic little find. Lost Lake. No, no wonder they call it Lost Lake. So how many did you get, Maddie? Uh, I got 27 and I thought, oh, I better let them all go. <laughs> I had trouble getting them in the boat. I dropped the first three and uh, ended up keeping three. So I ended up with four in the boat. Oh yeah, and how many did you catch from the boat? I was standing on a log. Oh, right. You went to the log. <laughs> four, three. Yeah, the girls. Don't try to outfish the girls, Someone Maddie. cheated. Have someone, not learned? Someone did it the hard way, but you know. You can never win. 37s now, the car does sit that little bit higher. Even bag down. She's gonna have to use a stool. Short ass. It's all right for me. She's on it. We've got it all going on here. Stream in the background, got the fire. Put another log on there while we're at it. Good placement. This really is gorgeous, gorgeous campground. Do you remember the name of this campground? Mm. I don't think that's it. There's a lovely lady here called Terry. Legend. She's a volunteer. She's here for probably four months of the year and she's hilarious. So easy. Let Biggest me tell you. Crush on Matt. It is not the easiest place to travel America. It's hard work. It's hard to book and you rock up here. She did everything for you. Takes your money. You can grab a good trolley of firewood. Drop down here for a couple of bucks. But yeah, tonight we're on the trout. We're going to wrap it up in a bit of alfoil with some garlic, some other deliciousness. Chuck it on the fire and see what happens. <laughs> Neither of us have ever done that before. So anyone who's got a trout recipe, yes, smoked is what we ideally wanted to do, but uh, we don't have it. We got some sage, some thyme, some salt and pepper, some chili leaves, but let us know what's your recipe for cooking rainbow trout over the fire or in a pan. Let us know. The other crazy thing is it doesn't go dark here till after 9.30. So right now we're cooking dinner at quarter to eight. We haven't even eaten at first light. This is epic. It doesn't go dark until late. And then we're like, I don't want to go to bed. Anyway, let's see how this trouty turns out. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. oh my god, this looks like a cooking show, only we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> it looks Speak like we yourself. know what we're doing. You know what you're doing? Yeah. It's waiting for you to actually do it. You're doing it. My hands have been fishing all day. Really? Catching them. Give me five, rip in, keep going. Good job. <laughs> catching them. Oh, listen to it. Alright, so. First thing you want to do is get your trout out of the silly bag. <laughs> Second thing, we're going to get a little bit of butter. You reckon butter? Yeah. All right, a bit of butter. Bang that on the inside there. Look at that. Next thing you want to do, you sure about tomato? Yeah. I don't know about that, eh? It's happening. I don't think you should. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> so, a bit of tomato and onion, a bit of lime in there. Can you hold that open? Oh, bloody hell, do I have to do everything? Just something. Salt. Be nice. Lots of salt, lots of pepper, less chili. That's right. No garlic. I don't know about that. Nav. <laughs> Nav. I need help. Does that even taste any good? Yeah. Time? Mm -hmm. Not too much. Yeah, oh, All right, yeah. and a little bit of garlic. Not too much. That's too much. That's too much. <sighs> That's enough. Whoa, no, no. Are we gonna do one and see if it goes any good? Nah, all in. All right, we got Chef Matt on the case. All right, a bit of butter in that. I don't even know about the tomato thing, eh? Main ingredient. Salt. Pepper. I got a little bit of red onion. That's it. No chili. No chili. The chili's not even hot. That's all right. This one's for me. Oi, you've done one fish. Yeah, I'm done. See you in the morning. Is that done? No, oh, it's done. It's actually good. Is it? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Tack. Pretty good. Yeah, this is good. Oh, yeah. It's actually good, hey? Yeah, no, it's actually really good. I'm surprised. All right, so peel the skin off one side, pull away the flesh. Then you just want to grab the spine. Oh, it's working. 
and you were left with delicious rainbow trout meat. Oh, yum. All right, guys, we're gonna sit here, rip into these one by one. This is it, no salad, none of that veggie <laughs> We're just gonna eat fish, and then we're going to bed. See you in the morning. Let us know if you enjoyed this little cooking segment. Hopefully you did, because it worked. <laughs> I'm as surprised as you. I'm a little bit surprised. This, just this much. No faith. Just in case you're wondering. Yeah. That was our last one. That was delicious. Fools of fact. Really good. Sore. Yeah, it was good. All right. Now we are going to bed after a couple of beers around the fire. All right. Alrighty guys, sorry to interrupt this video. As you can see right next to me, here is our brand new giveaway, not a Land Cruiser, a fully restored ground up build. Allen 106 Hilux open door respray in the original Toyota Sandy Torp. It doesn't come with just the respray, tires, rims, suspension, fridge, turbo, snorkels, you name it, it's got it. If you want to win this thing, head down to theexplorelife.com.au, whether it's a shirt, duffel bag, cam chair, anything from our website. It could be 20 bucks for a sticker. Enjoy the rest of the episode. We're on the road again. So Erin's trying to book a ferry from Port Augusta over to... Vancouver Island. We're going to Canada. <coughs> Choking on my banana bread. Stay tuned because the scenery looks insane. We have just found an epic camp spot on an unnamed waterfall on Vancouver Island. You can only get there by a four wheel drive. It does look pretty gnarly. Uh, some of the smaller guys were winching to get up there, so the big rig may struggle, but um, that's the plan. We're gonna have a red hot crack at finding and camping at this epic location. So we're about to go over the famous Astoria Bridge. Not 100% sure why it's so famous, but it's a big green bridge. Okay, I changed my mind. This is actually a very cool bridge. So basically we come up on a bit of an over ramp type thing and you shoot across and then you come down on a steep like 30 degree angle, maybe 15, I don't know what that is. And then you run all the way across the top of the water. It's apparently five miles long. Is it? That's what that lady was saying at, at the campsite. So it's pretty cool. As far as bridges go, anyway. We're going north. Yeah. Get excited. The Black Ball Ferry Line. We are currently in Port Angeles. Angeles, Port Angeles. Do you reckon it's Port Angeles? Port Angeles. It's also another option. We don't know which one's right. Could be mine. Probably mine. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It'd be epic if we got on this one and not the 931 because one, we don't have to wait five hours and two, we could get a nice little campsite before the sun goes down. Oh, here comes Captain Ferryman. Wish us luck. Can I see passports? We're on the boat! <laughs> You're joking! <laughs> to give you a bit of backstory, we rung today, asked if we can book, they said no. We wanted to book for tomorrow midday. She said get there at 8am at the latest, 6am is when they open and she recommended we got there at 6, 6 hours before the midday one. We just rocked up and we're already on. That is giving you a bit of insight into our shock and awe. We don't know how long it is, it cost us 170 bucks for anyone that's wondering. But yeah, they might sell beers up top. Let's go find out. Let's go. Okay. Oh, they made a I can't believe they made a key key ring. Ring. Oh, they made a key ring of you as well. That's cute. <laughs> Hello, USA. Bye bye. Hello, Canada. It's cold out here, so that's the end of outside the boat. All right. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> baby! 
We are in Canada. Up to about six customs officers. Frothing over the truck. Wasn't sure if we were gonna get deported or we were gonna get photos taken, but we're in. We are out of here. All right, first little camp in Canada. Gotta be happy about that. Beautiful little spot, and tomorrow we are into it. There's some epic spots I've got on my bucket list for over here, but for now, it is already nine o'clock at night, so it's time to set up the Patriot straight to bed. <sighs> happy days. We'll see you in the morning for a big day exploring Canada. Yeah, baby. Cruising the coast, punching up, see if we can find a beautiful camp tonight. The sun is just coming out. Fingers crossed we can get a swim in. Sun's out, guns out. All right, all. <laughs> We're not allowed coffees without a lid on them. Looks like there's a track. This is going to be interesting, but it looks magic. This is the, the colour of water that you see in all the bloody pictures of Canada. Wait till you see this. Oh yeah, check it. Look at that. Oh, holy, it's freezing like ice, but it's beautiful. Magic, magic little spot, refreshed. We get on the road, keep punching, see if we can find this lake. Okay, we are here and we need to take this road all the way around to that road. However, that sign says the road's been deactivated, proceeded on risk, which is okay, except it looks about that overgrown. Well, we're gonna have a look and see how bad it gets. And if it gets too bad, we'll somehow turn around with the trailer. We've had a look, it's four and a half Ks. We've got slick ass on the car, but Let's see how we go. Well, you know what they say, or maybe it's just what I say. One out of every 10 roads leads to Rome and the rest, well, they're a dead end. Sort of, just it's too overgrown. We can't push through that. I hate turning around. So I can't actually turn around in here either. What we're gonna do is unhook the trailer I'll turn the car around and then uh, we're gonna have to spin the trailer around by hand, scratch our way back out of here. Rocky. Two, three, go. Two, three, go. Let's see if we can turn this Patriot around. All right, we're out. Thank God we had the Patriot on and nothing bigger. There is mozzies everywhere. I don't know, let's try and find somewhere else. Oh, let's go on. Found the bridge. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that's sick. All right, well, we're backing in. I backed in. We've uh, made it to camp. We gave up. We're in a campground. There was nowhere else to go. Delicious spag bowl. And someone is coming in here like a terrorist with this green stuff. Do a mind blown emoji if you actually enjoy this. <laughs> Otherwise, just thumbs down it. Green shit, you bloody joking. Boo! <laughs> we want normal spag bowl back. Boo! <laughs> oh, I got a bowl of green trees. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm gonna drown it in cheese. <laughs> All right. Au revoir. Morning, morning. I'm gonna sneak down to the lake for a little morning swim. Doesn't look icy at all. Ice cube time. Time to start the day. Charging out to find this waterfall that you can only get to if 
by a full drive, the unnamed waterfall. Uh, people were winching to get in there, which is slightly concerning when they were just like smaller land cruisers and jeeps, considering we're running the full size Rambo. We've got a winch anyway. We'll just take it nice and easy, see how we go. We found the entrance. Let's see if we can make it all the way. This track is not particularly well used and definitely not used with tall vehicles. It's gonna be worth it, trust me. Those two little lines of the track and we're not even a quarter of a way. I thought it was gonna open up a little bit at some point. I didn't think it was gonna be four kilometers of that or that. Just torture. Shout out to Slick As because that just takes the edge off when you hear those nasty little noises down the side of your car. Uh, would you take your full-size truck wheeling? <laughs> anyway, only another 2K to go. So far this track is not really given up. It's overgrown, it's bloody scratchy on both sides. But we're getting there. You know when you're like, it's gonna open up and then it doesn't. We're doing four kilometers an hour. Oh, knock, knock, who's there? Scratchy mix scratchy. Yeah, baby. If you're gonna scratch it, scratch it properly. This is actually getting nice and off cambered. Little rocky sections, a bit of fun. Makes dodging the really big scratchy sticks even more fun. It'll open up any second. This is somewhere Nav would send me. Good job, baby. I'm not even gonna look at it, eh? Oh, beautiful little stream. Down through here, couple of good ghoulies. Beautiful little freshwater creek. A pretty gnarly climb out, to be honest. I'm sure the camera does this, nothing. Really loose dirt, so towing the trailer is gonna be the problem. All right, I'm gonna drop a bit of air out and then I'll have a crack. Wish me luck. Good job, Rambo. Slap on the ass for you. Pretty smooth, sort of. So we've seen a little side track. We thought we better just investigate because it was really overgrown going forwards. And it comes down to a magic little spot in the water. Yeah, I can hear the waterfall. made it and I tell you what it was worth it and it's even more worth it that there's nobody here one two three four little waterfalls crystal clear look at the big ram in all its glory big girl did me proud getting us in here well time to figure out where's camp a little bit of wood left here so we'll get a fire going have a swim enjoy those couple of beers I got left and just soak it up you bloody beauty! Yeah! Look how clear that is. What do you found over here? There's an epic little swimming hole. It's probably like a meter and a half deep. Crystal clear, flowing all the way out. And I reckon there's a little spa bath in there in that little corner. We might have to grab a mask, jump in for a swim. We might need to put a wetsuit on. Home sweet home. We're gonna go see if we can get into that little spa. Wish me luck. Ooh, 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 ooh. Honestly, 
I say it all the time, but you take 10 turns, nine of them are duds. And then every now and again, you snag one. And you only need one to make the nine U-turns completely worth it. And I'm telling you now, this is one of them. This place is gorgeous. We're surrounded by huge pine mountains everywhere. We're in this little 360 degree bowl. Crystal clear drinking water. This is what it's all about. The ultimate adventure machine, the ultimate location, and just enjoying it, being back in nature and just feeling the vibe. So I'm about to get a fire going now. We're gonna cook up a feed on the ram and enjoy the stars. I'm frothing. Ear to ear, I got nothing else to say other than this is living, Barry. So I'm gonna grab a cold beer, kick back and rip into this fire. If this doesn't inspire you to get out there and have a look around, well, you're missing out. Just been laying on the rock, having a little sunbake this morning till it was warm enough for us to brave going for a swim. And the mission is to get up to that top waterfall on top of the waterfall where I was yesterday. And there's another epic little pool like this one that we swam in yesterday. It could even be a little bit deeper, which is cool. So I think we might have to hike up the waterfall where I did yesterday that was super sketchy. But Aaron's going for a look to see if we can walk around. This place is so cool. So stoked that we still have it to ourselves. Let's see if she's on to something. Oh, she might be. I knew this was going to be specky. Oh, <laughs> I tell you what. I thought down the bottom was cool, but up here is so still. Have a look at this. This is next level. Well, there's one way to wake up in the morning. Jumping in ice cold water. <laughs> ah, it's cold! So good, just been sitting on top of the waterfall, soaking up a bit of sunshine, trying to get the body temperature back to normal. The sun's getting up higher, and the higher the sun gets up, the more stunning this place looks. You can see right down into the uh, bottom of these little swimming holes. I don't want to leave, this place is too beautiful. I think we might get a little coffee going for the road. Quick pack up. I think I'll be back to this spot. This is the best campsite I've had this whole trip and uh, I'll be back one day. Next time I'm, I'm in Canada, I reckon come back here with a couple of blow up toys, blow up floaties, a fridge full of beer. Set, absolutely set for a couple nights. I wish we had more time, but I'm glad we got to experience it. Time to uh, head to Tofino. Go see what that's all about. Well, 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 welcome to Tofino. It's a beautiful little town, very similar to sort of Margaret River, maybe a little bit like a Byron vibe. There is no camping within an hour of this place. So we thought, bugger it, we'll book a night's accommodation, book some little beach shack, it looks like. We're just heading down to the water now. Um, I think it's pretty close to the water too. So we're gonna go check it out. Not bad, little room with a view overlooking the water. Stunning little place. We're out of the camper for the first time in two months. <sighs> Bed for the night, happy days. Woke up to a stunning little view this morning after uh, going out for a couple of froths and a feed. Absolutely gorgeous here today, nice and still. <sighs> 
tell you what, I don't want to leave this place. This place is absolutely incredible, but we've got the Oregon full drive show on. We've got to be back in Oregon in about three days. So we're out of here. That's a wrap on this episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing a little bit of what Vancouver Island has to offer. For now, we've got a massive road trip to get back down to Oregon. Thanks for watching. Shout out to all our subscribers. You guys are legend. Appreciate all the support. If you want any merch, guys, links in the description below. Till next time, get out and enjoy the Explorer.